going on? I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. This is a meal prep video. And I can't wait. Okay, so this is meal prep number three. This is the third meal prep that I've done. Um, I keep getting questions about meal prepping. Everyone wants to know about nutrition and meal prepping, so I'm gonna run you through how I do things. I have been meal prepping for four years straight now. I have not missed one week where we haven't had prepped meals. And here's the beauty. When you are meal prepping and when you give yourself no other option, it's always there. I'm cooking 36 meals. Why 36? Why such a specific number? Because we have meals left over from the last cook. Those are mine. Those are hers. So with our remaining clean Tupperware, I'm gonna cook the staple meals and lunch, and then also breakfast. And what I like to do is I like to set it up like an assembly line. So obviously I'm cooking here. I have my ingredients here, and then this is where it's actually prepped. I'm laying it all out, I'm weighing it here. So it's like little stations, but whatever works best for you. Here we go. So I usually start with my meats first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna bring this meat over here. Now, we are habitual eaters. We eat the same thing over and over and that's just how we like it. The benefit of eating the same thing over and over is that you know how your body responds, your macros are easier to track. The thing is, is that you can vary it just a little bit. Like I'm gonna throw onions in her meals and not in mine and stuff like that. So you can also have snacks that break up the monotony. six pounds of beef. My point in this video is just to show you my process, not necessarily what to eat and all that blah blah blah. Cover it up and turn it on about medium-ish. Throwing it in the pot, stirring it every now and then. I'm not even adding seasonings to it. To me it tastes perfect. You just stir it. That's all you gotta do to cook this food. My goal always when prepping is to make it as easy as possible. So I take the laziest route to actually cook the food. When you're sitting here making 36 meals plus, you need to make the most convenient way to do it, that way you keep doing it. Okay, next is the eggs. So what I do is I get a gigantic bowl, get a bunch of eggs. I cook about a week's worth of eggs for her and myself. So she has three eggs in the morning, I have four. You multiply that times seven, that is 21 and 28. So I'm gonna crack 49 eggs. Let's get cracking. Okay, that's it, that's 49 eggs. So let's take it over here. These are my two pots for the eggs. I pour out the amount that is correct for her and myself. She gets 21, I'm getting 28. Okay, so all of the eggs are poured and the beef is cooking. I'm about to stir that and then all I do is stir them. I just stir, stir, stir. Everything that I cook is always in bulk, so I'm making a lot at a time. Four cups of rice, eight cups of water, perfect every time. Eight cups of water. Hit white rice, now you're cooking rice. I do not clean up as I go, which is a detriment. However, for aesthetic purposes of this video, I'm gonna clean up as I go. <laughs> you just keep stirring. So next you're gonna to wanna to prepare your fresh veggies. Why the goggles? Yeah. When you chop this up, you cry. I got sick of it one day and said, 
No more of this. Is it that serious, Matt? You bet your sweet it is. And now it's, it's starting to, to take color. The... Jenna actually loves onions, so I use two. Love you, babe. Put it in a big thing of Tupperware so this can go in salads, burritos, on top of the meals, whatever you want to do with it throughout the week. That's almost done. Hers are done, mine are just about done. I know that I'm gonna take this over here and I have it laid out. Seven and seven. Use the front for her and I will scoop out all of those eggs into these seven. Now that all the eggs are in there, I just put the tops on them and throw in the fridge. Breakfast for two people for one week. And sure, you can church it up. You can put salsa, you can put cheese, you can put tomatoes, you can put onions, whatever you want on it. What we typically do is we'll throw some sea salt on it in the morning to taste. It's made, it's there, it's ready to roll. Her breakfast goes on the left, mine goes on the right, and we know, because I eat four eggs, she eats three. I'm moving on to weighing out the meat. Get the meat over here, and then you get a gigantic thing of Tupperware. Why, you may ask. You put all this in here, and then you just scoop it into the Tupperware, and then when you're done, if you have leftovers, put it in the freezer, and it's ready for your next cook. I weigh out the meat. 3.5 ounces for her, and 3.5 ounces for myself. I used to do four, five, six, all that crap. It's just easier to have it 3.5 and 3.5 when you have somebody else that's eating your food. That way if one day, you know, I grabbed her meal or she grabbed mine, they're interchangeable. You hear that noise? The rice is done. Passive cooking. So I know this is all of her Tupperware. This is my Tupperware. She's getting less meals because she already has some meals left over from the last cook. You turn it on. So this is completely zeroed out right now. I scoop in, put it into one side of the container. So that's 3.55, that'll work. This meal is done. You take it off and see it is accounting for the Tupperware. So all you gotta do is hit zero and you keep going. Scoop, zero, scoop, zero. The point of weighing your food out is A, be able to count your macros, and B, it actually saves money. If you eyeball it, you're gonna put too much or not enough, and your macros are gonna be off, so your goals are gonna be off, and you're gonna be spending more money in the long run when you don't realize how much protein you're taking in or how much meat is going in. So they're all weighed and prepped. Those are hers, these are mine. We have some leftover meat, so I put the top on it and then put it in the big freezer for the next cook. I'm doing more of a low carb thing here lately. It's actually carb cycling. Um, so I like to set these meals up to be super low carb. So she's gonna get carbs. I'm only gonna put a few in with carbs. I always do just a half a cup. Perfect rice every time. Level scoop, that's level, about. And then you come back here. And repeat the process down the line. Now it's time for the veggies. Using a strainer in the sink. We're gonna throw the frozen veggies in there to thaw them out a little quicker. And then we will throw it into here. Let's go. Now, you might be asking, how much veggies do you put in there? Not gonna lie, I don't weigh these out, I don't measure them. I know that one bag of broccoli will pretty much make up four of the meals. Okay, almost done. Just gonna top her meals off with a few onions for a garnish, and that's gonna be it. All right, time to put them up. You 
can just season them as the week goes. So you can pour some A1 on here, or you can put some salt on there, a little mustard here. All right, that's it. Now it's time to put them all up. Mine goes there, hers goes there. learned here today. Cook in bulk, freeze it if it's left over, make the cooking as easy as possible. In a crock pot, a rice cooker, not something that you individually have to watch, such as out on the grill. You can, but it's tougher. You gotta flip it and you gotta season it and you got all that. Make it easy on yourself. Cooking in bulk is best and you can season it as the weeks go. And the best thing about meal prepping is all week long, this is what we do. Reach in, and heat up and go. You don't have to be perfect at it. Just be better than yesterday. Every day. Doggies, y'all did an awesome job. You did such a good job. You're such a good girl. You are a good, look. No waggle tail? No, no waggle tail action? All right. Okay, that's really it.